There's my champion, Jalu. What's up, auntie? The skate kids are all talking about Soundy leaving the park. You did good. Your ama and I are going out for drinks tonight to celebrate. I knew you could do it. Aw, oh, I didn't play that big a part. He sent those kids to face me, and after that, I guess they saw he didn't have their best interests at heart. They're lucky to have someone like you, though. And now you as well. I see the makings of a great auntie yet. Uh, maybe not that. Something wrong with being an auntie? No, I would never say that. To your face. Well, hun, your next board fix-up is on me. Free of charge. Isn't it always free? Who says I haven't been keeping a ledger? Stay on auntie's good side and you'll never find out. We should take that seriously. Personally, I wouldn't want someone with arms like Heracles threatening my kneecaps. Everyone, uh, don't freak out, but I have someone to introduce. The person who actually gave me the idea for this little scheme. Aruni? Uh, I should have known. Wait! I thought this was all my idea! Oh, sweetie, yes. That's obviously what they wanted you to think. But why? I didn't want all of you causing drama at my wedding. Okay, no. I refuse to pretend that secretly masterminding your sister's exes into messy confrontations with her is the low drama option. I needed to keep her occupied. I wasn't ready to talk it out with her. So you used us as distractions? Fine, I also wanted to torture her a bit. Maybe a lot. To know Jala is to want to torture her. Please don't make that sound like such a sex thing. Sorry. Fun as it has been to watch this drama play out, it's time to face what I've been avoiding. Your mom called you, huh? Threatened me, more like. What about you, Tyler? Isn't it time you two actually talked? No, no way, absolutely not. I am asking you as your friend. <laughs> I mean, I like you more than my sister right now. Do it for me. Oh, your entire bloodline is cursed. I'm taking that as a yes. One of us. One of us. One of us? Oh, shut up before I change my mind. Are you sure you want to do this? Tyler's not going to be easy to deal with. It's never going to get any easier. This is Tyler. She's the first friend Jala made after our parents moved us to America. Her best friend. For a while, her only friend. Maybe that's the reason Tyler's always been a little possessive. Excuse me? Territorial. Oh, or how about proprietary? They fell in love when they were 14. They've been the on-again, off-again, grand queer romance of Timber Hill since then. The real mystery is why Tyler put up with the parade of hopeless losers, manipulators, and creeps Jala dated during their breakups. Low self-esteem, maybe? Is that what you think of me? And hello to you too, by the way. No! You forgave me because you were self-assured. You loved me, you understood me, better than I did myself sometimes. But you really didn't understand me at all, did you? You want to dig up the past, Jala? Fine. I guess some things just won't stay buried. Is this front you're putting up supposed to intimidate us? Oh, please. Wait, your bitchy, self-critical inner voice looks and sounds like Aruni? Guess you can see me as well as hear me in your inner world. Great. 
My appalling psychological coping mechanisms are not the point. I don't know. They seem a little relevant. Is there any point hating you when you're doing such a good job of doing it yourself? Give it a rest, Tyler. If you really hated Jala, why would you even be here? I had more respect for you when you kept your distance from us. <laughs> but to come crawling back like this? Oh, it's really pathetic. More than that, it's obvious. Be very careful what you say next, Jala. I can't control what comes out of her mouth. She's you, you idiot. She's just saying what you're thinking. The words that come out of her mouth? You're just too scared to say them yourself. You've always understood us so well, haven't you? But... I know you too, Tyler. You want to know the real answer to the mystery of why you always forgive us? Why you'll forgive us even now? Even though you shouldn't. You unbearably arrogant asshole. Go on then. Say it. You're still in love with Jala. You never stopped. You never will. You don't know how. You made me feel like I wasn't good enough for you. That wasn't an accident. It was deliberate. Sergio! And Bruno? What the hell is going on? Hell is just right. Welcome to hell, Jala. My hell. The hell you put me through. Do you think she's planning to bury us alive in this graveyard of your past mistakes? Maybe she'll be merciful and kill us first. Oh, Jala. Don't be so silly. I want you alive. There's no use in tormenting the dead. And you have tormented me, Jala. Everywhere I look in this town, I see the afterimages of us. You're tangled in my past. You linger in my future. No matter what I do, I can't escape you. You haunt me, Jala. Now it's my turn to return the favor. Bro! You're back! I was so bummed you left town. Yeah, bro. This lame town just couldn't handle my awesomeness. I had to split because of my secret trauma, you know? That's deep, man. Women love secret trauma. I know. That's why I made some up, obviously. Wow! You're like a genius, bro! You barely know Bruno, but we went to school with Sergio since the third grade. Were you really not paying any attention? I can't be expected to pay attention to the grunts they make in between guzzling protein shakes. I followed you around like a little puppy dog. But you never really loved me, did you? I guess I made it too easy for you, huh? Pathetic, isn't he? But was I any different to you? How can you even compare the two of you? Sergio was barely even a real boyfriend. Ouch! That really hurts. And I was real to you. Until I wasn't. It just took longer. You have this way of dismissing people when you're done with them. I should have realized all the way back then, if you could do it to him, you could do it to me too. Looks like Tyler's determined to resurrect the ghosts of the past. They're the shield she's using to avoid her real feelings. Put them down so we can get to the truth.